Hello and welcome to the Titus Timeout Podcast. I'm Jenny Abney Sivy, and since we released the Teams 8.0 selection software that includes fan coil selection, I thought for this week's podcast we'd do a demo of the software. So I've launched the software already. If you need to update your Teams, you can go up to Tools, Update via the web, and do the update there. You can also download Teams from our website, and I'll put a link to that in the description below the video. So let's create a new project. It starts by asking me for a file name. You probably want to use the job name here to make it easy to find. Let's call it podcast demo and click save. It opens up to the project information screen. So let's fill in some of this information. Call it podcast demo job. We'll put it in Dallas. And I'll put me down as the engineer. Down here under master project defaults, is where it just saved the file. You can change this to wherever you want and then click update master defaults and it will save it to that location from then on. On the right side are the project defaults. You can see that we have defaults for trimmer unit, chill beams, and fan coils because all of those selections are in here. Since I'm doing the demo on fan coil, let's select the fan coil tab and look at that. Here you can select the defaults for such things as voltage, fan speed, filters, and what type of fluid you have. You can also put in your defaults for entering air and water temperatures and leaving air and water temperatures and so on. So let's leave this where it is and we're just going to click create schedule. It'll take you to the product selection screen. Since we're going to do a fan coil selection, we're going to open a FC project. Now we've opened the schedule screen. We don't have anything in there yet, so let's click add a new room. So now we're in the selection screen. We'll start at the design inputs over here. You can see under series are the different types of fan coils, horizontal basic, horizontal high output, vertical basic, vertical high output, and vertical stack. Let's select a vertical stack. And then under model, you do click that drop down and you can see the different types of vertical stacks. We're going to leave it at VSR, but maybe if you say you don't know what model you want, you can come over here and click the little I for information button and it will open up that page of our website so that you can get more information on that model to make sure that's the one you want. Go back to our selection. Next, you can pick a size or you can let it pick the size for you. I'll leave that on auto. And now you can pick between a two pipe and a four pipe system. Let's go to a four pipe system. Now you input altitude and airflow and pressure information. I'm going to leave altitude where it is, but let's put in, let's call it 520 CFM. We'll do no outside air and 0.2 inches. I'm going to leave the voltage, but you can change your voltage here. I'm going to leave it as standard motor. Fan speed, I'll let it select for me. And then I'll leave it with just a one inch filter. Now we have the cooling coil and heating coil information. You can put in your entering air temperatures and your entering water temperature. And then there's two different methods to select. You can select by capacity or you can select by leaving air temperature. We'll leave it on capacity and let's put in here about 17 MBH. Okay, so before I go on, I want to mention that sometimes putting in the airflow and the capacity is too strict of a calculation and the program won't come up with a selection. If that's the case, then you should put in just airflow and not capacity or just capacity and not airflow and let the program do the math that works out so it'll show you all the fan coils that will meet your needs and you can pick the one closest to your actual application requirements. So back to our selection. Next you need to tell it the fluid flow or the leaving water temperature. 
we'll put in 3 GPM. We'll leave the rest as it is. We'll let it select the number of rows for us, and we've told it that there's a max water pressure drop of 10 feet, and where fluid type is water. Now let's go over to heating. We'll do the same thing. Let's put in a capacity of 24 MBH, and we'll say 1.5 GPM. Once you put in your inputs, you just click Calculate. And now it's made a selection for us. It says that a size 6 and a size 8 unit will meet our requirements. And if you look at the data, you can see the horsepower, the FLA, it's on the high fan speed. There's our MBH, our sensible MBH, leaving air temperature, dry bulb and wet bulb, 3 GPM, which is what we said we had, our leaving water temperature, three rows, our water pressure drop of 6.7 feet, and then you can see the same information for heating, 26 MBH, leaving air temperature, dry bulb of 115, 1.5 GPM, leaving water temperature of 144, one row, and a water pressure drop of 4.1 feet. So let's say we want to select the size 6, and we'll do another selection, so we're going to say save and new. It defaults to the same fan speed and coils in case you're going to continue on with that, but I'm going to select something different just so that we can get a different selection. So let's put all these back to auto, and we'll leave it on our VSR. Now let's do 170 CFM. We'll leave the point 0.2. Let's go 7 MBH, oops, 1.5. And over here, we'll do 16 and leave that at 1.5 and click Calculate. Okay, now it says a size 3 is what we need, so we like that. We'll do Save and Close. So now here are our two fan coils we've selected. All of our information that we had before are in here. Say we want to make a couple more, so let's say this last one, we want to copy the line. You can click copy line, let's say I want to do four of those, and it automatically puts new tags in, or I can change the tags to whatever I want, and click accept. It says they're successfully created, and now you can see we have the four additional lines in here. So now from this screen, you can see all the selection information. Up here, you have the project totals for the total airflow, the capacity, and the fluid flow for cooling and heating. Up here under reports, click reports, launch reports. Let's look at a schedule, and we'll click launch report. Now it's going to go through and open a schedule for us. Let's get that up just a little bit. So you can see my project name was Podcast Demo Job. I put that in there. It tells me the name of the file. And now here are all of our fan coils that we've selected. So you can see all the information in here is laid out for us. Now you can print this straight from here, or if you need to add information, or maybe you want your columns in a different order, you can go up to this little export button. And let's export it to Excel. It's going to come up and ask me what I want to call it. Let's put it, let's just put it on my desktop. And we'll call it FCU Schedule, that's fine. And click Save. And now let me go to my desktop and open that file. A little bit out of screen. So you can see now this is our schedule. So it brought it in here. Now it's just in Excel. So once it's in Excel, we can do whatever. We can move columns around. You can highlight columns, do whatever, print it, scale it to fit, um, copy it and paste it into other stuff. So we'll close that and we'll close that. Now if you want to go back and continue selecting, you can add a new room. Or if you click Product Selection, that takes you back to other models to select. Um, or you could save the file and be done. So that's how the fan call selection works. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, and thanks for taking the time out with us.